If you guys are looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K19 account with a high overall and maxed out badges, make sure you hit up my boy Sports TNB. The link to his Twitter will be in the description. Click it, make sure you tell him that that boy sent you, and he'll hook you up with the account of your dreams. What to do, what it does, YouTube. We got something to discuss, okay? Something very serious to discuss. We are going to be talking about some great news from the 2K devs, okay? Let's get right into it. Drop a like if you like this news, all that good stuff. Here we go. Seeing a lot of players ducking experience and high record opponents in the park, so we're giving a big bump to my points for opponent strength tomorrow uh, morning. Tougher opponent equals more my, po uh, more my points, also affects pro-am and walk-on, okay? So soak that in. My boy Power responds to him. He says, W, but can you give more info on how opponent strength is calculated? Is, is this by a user's record, their park rep, or simply their overall what raises their opponent's strength? Zach responds with, for park, park rep, average rep of the users you're playing against. Power says, thank you. Now, all right, back to the gameplay. Y'all watch this gameplay. <laughs> First of all, if you did not make my stretch build, you're missing out, man. This build is absolutely, positively unstoppable. And call me trash all you want for using a stretch. I, I enjoy playing on it, right? That's why we play this game to have fun. Don't tell me that's not why we play. This stretch is fun to play on, okay? So I'm going to grind them to 99. Anyways, this whole ducking comp thing, I've been tweeting about this. Go follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Since day one, bro, I know for a fact some of your favorite YouTubers, and I'm not going to say names, I'm not trying to ruin anybody's channel, anybody's business, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm not here to hate. I, get your money and do what you got to do. But some of your favorite YouTubers, they duck cop, okay? They go on their phone in the game, their virtual phone, they check records. If they got a good record, they don't play. They step off courts, check records, step back on. No, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. And you don't believe, don't believe me if you don't wanna believe me. I have never and I never will. Like if you're gonna get a record doing that, nah, that your, your record doesn't even matter then. Now, I will tell you this. I do step off courts. The only reason is if you come around. If you come around, I'm stepping off. I'm sorry. I don't do that come around stuff. If you lost, take your win. I mean, take your L and move on. Even if you beat me, I'm not coming around on you, bro. You beat me. Good for you. Give you a round of applause. I'm off on my way, bro. I'm going to go do something else. We could play again in the future. I'm not playing the same people back to back to back to back games. First of all, for me, it's not fun. I don't enjoy playing the same people over and over again. I like a variety. I like playing different archetypes. I like different play styles. I want to have to defend different types of offenses. I want to have to score against different types of defenses. That's what's fun to me, the strategy part of it. I'm not trying to play you 10 times in one day. That's not what I'm about. If you come around after I beat you, I'm stepping off. If you beat me, I'm not coming around. I'm telling you that right now. But for those people out there ducking comp all day, 2K is saying, nah, -uh, you're not doing it no more. You could keep doing it, but those of you that play comp and do not step off courts are getting a big buff to my points, which is going to help you wrap up faster, going to help you hit 99 overall quicker. And this is great news, bro. I, it really seems to me like they're listening for the most part. Now, there are some things still wrong that they need to fix in the game, of course. But some people are just complaining about this game left, right, and center about this build, that build, shot contest, steal, like all this stuff. Guys, you have to realize the game, the game is a good game. Like, if you can't adjust to the game, then that's on you, bro. Like, we, we demanded a skill gap. After 2K18, we demanded a skill gap. And they gave it to us. Like, if you throw a dumb pass, I'm going to steal it 9 out of 10 times. That's what we wanted. And now people are complaining about it. And it's kind of the 2K cycle, right? Not everyone is as good at the game as others. And you're going to complain because I understand. You don't like losing. But there has to be a skill gap. Otherwise, what's the point? Like, on, for example, Fortnite, the most popular game out right now. If you're trash and you will and you go against Ninja, Tfue, uh, Dakotas, any of these dudes, like you're gonna get, you know, uh, Daquan, you're gonna get scraped, and it's not because the game is trash. 
it's because they're better than you at the game and the same on 2k like if you come play me now or i'm not even gonna use myself because then it sounds like i'm, I'm being cocky if you pull up on a good player like a very very good player and you do some dumb shit they're able to expose it now they're able to expose it in 2k18 you'll get away with it the passing lane you they won't give you the steal you know you shoot a heavily contested shot and they let it go in but not this year man so i appreciate that tweet from zach i hope it's a big buff i hope it's not just like you get an extra 50 my points no no no. i hope extra thousand two thousand five thousand give us mad my points for playing comp that's what this game is about don't step off play whoever steps on the spot man but that's the, that's what i got for y'all today all right this is great news in my opinion drop a like if you agree let's try to get like 2,000 likes and let's go